If you're looking for a travel destination that's absolutely stunning, where you can engage in different kinds of activities, eat great food, and not have to spend a fortune, then maybe you should check out the Pyrenees Mountain Range. Hola, this is Alex. Welcome to my channel, Manilenya Madrilenya, where you learn about places to see and things to eat in Madrid and in Spain, and about life overseas. If you haven't yet, do consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you know exactly when my videos go live. Today I want to talk to you about the Pyrenees mountain range, which you can find in Southwest Europe. It forms a natural border between Spain and France. It's quite a long drive from Madrid to the Pyrenees, so on this trip, my friends and I drove there from Zaragoza, where we stayed a night so as to divide the drive into two legs. The ride from Zaragoza to the Pyrenees in Catalonia, specifically Valle de Aran, took around four hours. I rode with my friend Teresa and the views were beautiful on the way there. It was so relaxing to look at the landscape. We passed by quaint towns, and there were the usual random castles you see when you take long drives in Spain. The view becomes even more impressive as you approach the mountains. Seeing the snow-capped peaks from afar made me even more excited about the trip. We were lucky enough to see two wolves crossing the road, though I wasn't quick enough to capture them on video. It was already dark when we arrived at Valle de Aran, and we checked into our apartment after some difficulty finding it. The place was worth the hassle though because it was so comfortable and so cozy. Valle de Aran is a popular skiing destination, so the decor was geared towards skiers. But the main attraction of the apartment was the fireplace. It's great to sit by a fire and just look at the flames while enjoying the heat. I think I enjoy this so much because I rarely have the chance to sit by fires for most of my life, living in a warm country like the Philippines where there's hardly any need for a fireplace. We started the next day early and we saw that the car had some ice on it. It was certainly colder than I was used to. This, by the way, is how our apartment looked like from the outside. It was even prettier in daylight. We had planned some easy hiking and walking and the starting point was a short drive away we would be walking through the towns of Les and Bosost. The beautiful scenery is to be expected as you hike through the Pyrenees. There are stunning views left and right. The trees, the mountains from afar, the rivers. Pyrenees are known for being a playground for all seasons. It attracts skiers and snowboarders during the winter and hikers during the rest of the year. Aside from these activities, you can just enjoy the natural beauty of the mountain range. But also you get to discover Catalan heritage, even in the middle of nature, with ancient structures scattered all over the place. Apparently, thousand-year-old monasteries can be found in the mountains. It was also great to see some animals such as these goats and these horses. Coming down from the mountains, we walked through the pretty town of Basost, where we saw this little church. The views were just gorgeous everywhere. After all that walking, it was time for some pinchos and the food was excellent as well. It was nice to have a beer and some tapas by the plaza. We then took another short walk to see more of this picturesque town. And again, we got hungry, so we headed to a restaurant to have lunch. The restaurant was called Ostao de Raneu, which was kitschy but rather charming. We went there because they served the specialty of Baya de Aran called Oya Aranesa, which my friends wanted to try. It's a soup with meat and vegetables, perfect for the cold winter weather. Since I don't eat meat, I just had their menu of the day, with the first course being a typical Spanish salad. The second course was fish and fries. And since we were in Catalonia, I definitely had to have crema catalana. That day was spent enjoying the charms of the mountains in the villages of Les and Bosost. The next day was a day I was both looking forward to and dreading at the same time. We were going cross-country skiing, which I had never done in my life. We went to the Beret ski station, and when we arrived, 
I literally had some tears going down my cheeks because the view was so overwhelming. I'd seen snow before, but the snow-covered mountains here were just something else. We went to get our gear for cross-country skiing, and I really had no idea what I was going to do. So we just got our boots, our skis, and our poles, and went bravely to try something without any kind of instruction at all. I realized I should have at least checked the internet to see if there was any kind of instructional about cross-country skiing, so at least I would have some idea or some clue about what was going to happen that day. Cross-country skiing, or Esqui de Fondo, is different from downhill skiing, and I found out the hard way what the difference was. In downhill skiing, as the name suggests, you just go downward. But in cross-country skiing, you sometimes have to go upward. This was the difficult part for me because your skis travel on two tracks that were very slippery because they were ice. So, when you go up, the tendency is to slide down backwards, especially if you don't know how to use your skis properly. This was a disaster for me as I slid down so many times and eventually fell down. The feeling I had then was very strange because I realized that I was suffering, but I was also enjoying myself at the same time. This is how one looks after the first time they ski, but it was great. The Pyrenees are majestic. It was worth it even if, I, even if I felt like an idiot falling on my butt so many, many times. The Pyrenees are, the Pyrenees are magnificent. With the support of my friends Teresa, Joaquin, Diana, and Sergio, I finally made it through the course. But seeing the pure white snow and the blue skies all around made all the pain worthwhile. After all that effort, we definitely deserved a treat, and it came in the form of beer. San Miguel beer, no less. During our stay in the Pyrenees, after whatever activity we had for the day, it was always nice to go back to our apartment with a fireplace. We spent relaxed evenings playing the board game Catan, which is a little nerdy but a lot of fun. Although sometimes the competitiveness of the game made them a little less relaxed, but it was all in good fun. By the time we had to leave the Pyrenees, the weather had changed. It was gloomy and it was raining, like the sky was crying because we were leaving. My experience of seeing and being in the Pyrenees has definitely been a highlight of my stay in Spain so far. This trip lasted five days, although one of those days and one night was spent in Zaragoza, which is a lovely city which you should definitely check out. Now, the whole trip cost around 200 euros, which I think was a pretty good deal. Now, this included everything, the transportation, accommodations, the groceries, the skiing, and even eating out and drinking. I'm sure you can even bring the price down because we weren't exactly being stingy with the expenses. Now, what's the most beautiful place that you've ever seen? Do let me know in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Ciao, chicos!